Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro and welcome to this new episode of our Power BI Daily Life Challenges. As you can see on your screen, I have this one visualization where I can see the month name, then there are two values. One is the absolute number, another over here is the percentage. So the challenge is, one of the user asked me that can we do that in Power BI. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. That means how you can create this kind of chart where you can see the absolute number as well as you can see the percentage. Stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to show you step by step how you can create it. Hello everyone, my name is Ajay Kumar and I create videos on Microsoft Power and Microsoft Azure. Now we create the videos on Microsoft Fabric 2. If you are new to the data field, then please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get started. The very first, let me show you my data model. Over here, I have this financial data, which is by default data in Microsoft Power BI. You can also get it easily. Second is the dim date table, which I have created, and the logic is over here, which is quite simple. You can also use any of your data table. Now, it's just for the illustration purpose. But if you have any doubt or any question, please do let me know in the comment section. Also, I'm going to provide you this file link in the description section. So the very first step, you have to create certain measures. That means you have to create a measure for your sales and the sales percentage. Over here, I'm not going to create any measure for the sales. I'm just going to use this sales column over here, which is going to by default create the total sales. Otherwise, you can simply come over here and you can create a new measure with the name total sales. And then you can just calculate the sum of your sales, which is over here, financial sales. And just hit the enter button and your measure has been created over here. By the way, if you are new to Power BI and you are new to DAX, then we have created several videos on Microsoft Power BI tutorials for the beginners, as well as for data modeling and DAX. So please don't forget to check the links in the description section and start learning today. Also, if you're looking for any of the training programs, either related to Microsoft Power BI, Microsoft Fabric, SQL, or if you are looking for the training program for certifications such as DP500, PL300, then please connect with us today. Now we have created total sales measure over here. Similarly, I have created one more measure, which is sales percentage. This is pretty basic. You will get to know once you wanna start working on DAX. But this video is gonna be focused on how we create this kind of chart in Microsoft Power BI. So first of all, guys, what you have to do, you have to come here and you have to select this stacked chart, which is a stacked bar chart. Here we have to drag and drop certain columns. For example, in the access field, we have to bring the month column. And my month column is over here. So just drag and drop over here. Then I'm going to need my total sales, which is over here. Now you can see that my months are over here. I'm not going to sort them out. If you would like to watch another video that how you can sort this column, then I'm going to provide you again the link in the description section. Please do check that out or let me know in the comment section if you can find it out. Now we have to divide this by countries too. So let me bring my country field over here. Now it's been created, but over here you will see that it has only your country name and total sales, but it doesn't have the percentage, which is the one that we would like to show over here. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna expand this pane over here. And here you can see that I have two tips. So in the tool tips, I'm going to add my percentage one, which is my sales percentage. And here I have added it. Now, if you are going to look at this, you can see clearly that what is your sales percentage for this country and what is your total sales. If you would like to check furthermore, you can hit on this button. And here you can see that all your countries are displaying on the top and their total sales and the percentage of sales. That's how you can do that. You would definitely ask me that you want to display as a data label. Over here, if I'm going to come to the formatting pane and let me go to the data label tab. So here's my data labels. Now you can see my data labels are appearing, but you cannot see data label over here using this technique because we are using data label for the sales percentage as a tooltip, which is not going to appear. So there must be some of the alternative way that we can do that. For that, we can use the tooltip page, which I have created over here. You can see that this is the tooltip page and here I'm bringing my total sales and sales percentage. These are the two fields only over here. For all my friends who doesn't know how to create a tooltip page, simply you have to add a new page, go to the canvas settings over here, which you can see. And here you have to use this tooltip page. Here we have to create simply one KPI card, which I'm going to say 
my new KPI card, which is over here. And in this, I'm going to drag two fields. One is going to be my total sales. Let me drag it over here. Another is going to be my sales percentage. So these are the two fields that I have added over here. And now I can go to again the format pane where I can change the size of these. So I have to go to the values one. Here I'm going to say I need values only 20, which is appearing correctly over here. Now go back again here, select your visualization, go to the tooltips. You can search it directly over here. Once you are over here, you can see the report page and here the page would be my page two. That's all you need to do. Now, whenever you are going to hover your mouse, you can see that your total sales and sales percentage are appearing over here. Both are in the same one. This is a workaround for this problem. There's no direct chart that you can find in Microsoft Power BI that you can use it. However, please do remember that try to explore the custom visualization over here. You can go to this get more visualization. Over here, you can search certified Microsoft Power BI custom visualization. So here you can say I need 100% stacked bar chart, which is over here. There's also the one. So please do try that out and do let me know what do you think about it. But make sure this has been certified by Microsoft like over here, which is Power BI certified. Otherwise, you can also choose from here Power BI certified only and you would get everything over here. I'm not going to do that. I'll leave it to you. And let me know in the comment section whether it's going to work for you or it's not going to work for you. This is all for today's video. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs button and also don't forget to share with your friends. Till then, keep learning, keep enjoying Power BI. See you in the next video.